Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down the free-to-play Super Saiyan Goten, and I believe we also do have a Platinum equipment for Ultra Blue Kaioken Goku. So I am back, I literally just got back, like, in, not even an hour ago, <laughs> recording this. Um, so just, just for full transparency, I have a, my, my last pre-recorded scheduled video going up in a few hours, it is uh, an LF OG Gogeta Blue uh, revisit. So that's going to be coming up later today. Uh, I'll do this breakdown video obviously right now, and um, I'm probably not going to get to the showcases of this Goten or Blue Kyle can go until tomorrow. I have a lot of videos to catch up on. I've only done two Omega showcases. Like, still got to do the Zenkai showcase, the Arts Boosted showcase, the uh, all that all that stuff. We're going to do a lot of showcases on Omega. We still got some showcases left to do on Raid Shenron, and we got stuff with this. We have uh, like the, whatever this new campaign is. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on. So I got a lot of catch up to do. But so you guys know, I am now back. So we have uh, availability now to actually record stuff. Let's take a look at Goten here. So uh, this is a purple defense type character. Um, they did not specifically say that this is going to be part of an episode campaign. I'm actually kind of hoping we're done with episode campaigns. I wasn't the biggest fan of how they structured them. I don't think they did a good job with episode campaigns, but we'll see. Um, but it looks like if it is going to be related to anything, it looks like it's going to be second coming Broly stuff. But we'll, again, we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Got to subtract like 8,000. Oh, he's a lot of defense. Wow. That is a lot of defense. Terrible offenses, but who cares? Look at that defense. What the hell this is a free character. He's over 190 K defenses. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good. I, I'll take that. Sure. I mean, if he's meant to be a defense type, I'm obviously going to be looking more so at the defensive stats. I'll take that. Uh, he's on movies, Sun Family, and hybrids, and Super. Yeah, he's on a lot of teams. Super Saiyans. Okay. Cool. Uh, normal strike, normal blast, Kamehameha, massive, thirty percent. On hits, reduce enemy key by a hundred, and then cancels. Uh, Azure upgrades and bubble Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing insane about this, but that's actually pretty, pretty effective. Uh, basically prevents your opponent from being able to do anything when you land that. Green card is a stop time, it draws a card, 10% health, 50 key, 20% damage. Just one enemy card. Uh, minus five to strike, uh, plus five, sorry, plus five to strike blast, especially with arts cost for 10 counts. Okay, not the greatest green card ever. Main ability draws a blue card. 20% health, 50 key, 100% to the next special move damage. Okay, that's gonna make it hit a lot harder. Cancels after we downgrade normal conditions, reset your key by, by 50. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like defensive mechanics on the main ability. So I don't think I I don't think I really like the reduce enemy key by 50 on this, but whatever. Uh, 33% to Sun Family, Event Exclusive, or Movies, Strike Attack, and Blast Defense. Sure. Alright, here we go. This unique ability. 80% damage, 70% reduced damage C, 60% key recovery. Uh, gradually healing. Okay, so no card draw speed. Falling effects occur when scanners the battlefield. 30 key, 40% damage. Activates twice. Okay, so you want to leave with this character. So you can get up to 160% if you get both of those active. Oh, there's card draw speed. Card draw speed for 20 counts. Inflicts enemy that should be downgrade. Minus 15% to strike and blast its power for 10 counts. 20% to damage inflicted by allies for 15 counts when this character switches. Okay, so he's supporting a little bit. 20% is not the greatest, but it is something. So I guess I'll just take that. Uh, apply, uh, also applies the following effects to allies of character Goku or Gohan are battle members. Restores health by 10% and then 20% of damage inflicted. So he actually is team healing. If you have a Goku or Gohan on the team. Hmm. And then 20% more damage. At this point, that's actually pretty decent support. That's 40% support. That's, that's not bad. I'll take that. Sure. Falling effects occur when changing cover. Reduce enemy key by 20. Plus 10 all arts cost is actually pretty good. And then minus one card draw speed level to all enemies. That's perfect. 
yeah, that, that, that's a pretty solid disrupt effect. I would uh, much prefer if he also additionally had card destruction on this, but that's not bad. Uh, the arts cost increase is actually going to be annoying, I think. Falling effects occur when hit with an enemy's arts attack while this character's in the battlefield. 10% health and the Bruce enemy key by 20. Okay. So you cover with this character. He's reducing enemy key by 20, and then he's reducing enemy key by 20 again when he gets hit. Activation count resets as the character switches. Okay. Falling effects occur when an enemy activates an ultimate, awakened, or rising rush. Goes type neutral for three counts. Minus 50% to ultimate awakened arts power. Cancels enemies buff effects. Okay. So you want to run this guy next to like purple ultimate Gohan or something, even though he's also purple. <laughs> yeah, canceling enemy buff effects when they activate a rising rush, that is obviously really strong. They're giving that to so many characters now. They're even giving it to free characters now. Okay, I mean, that makes him a lot better against characters like Super Vegito. Applies the following effects itself. Uh, when battle starts, there's a character Goku and Gohan battle member in the party. 50% damage, minus 5 to arts costs. 50% damage. That's 50% there. Uh, he's going to get 80 here and 80 here. So that's going to be like 210% damage if you have all those fulfilled, which is not the worst. I mean, you, you could just run this guy on like a Boo Saga team, even though he's not a Boo Saga character. He's a movies character. You can run this guy next to like purple ultimate Gohan and uh, fusing Super Vegito, and that could, that would count, right? Huh. He seems pretty decent. I mean, I, a defensive type character without like a super disrupt, like Evil Boo at half health or endurance, is a little questionable, especially as a free character. But he has very good stats defensively, and he also has some decent disrupt, and he has the buff removal. So if you pair him up with, a, with an endurance unit, you can survive a rush. He seems okay, actually, as a free character. I don't really have many issues here. He seems pretty, de pretty decent as a free character. All right, let's go ahead and check out some equips. Uh, I actually think we do have a new... Oh yeah, by the way, I was, I was able to do this finally because they gave us the one day Ultra Bonanza. So I did get a perfect roll in this, and then I got a second one just in case. Uh, let's check out the um, equipment. I think there should be a new Awaken equipment because I think Rush resets are reset today. Let's scroll down. We definitely have a new co-op equipment, so that's at least we know that that's the new co-op equipment. Super Saiyan and Sagas from the movies. 12% health restoration, 20% to strike defense, 20% to blast defense. And then 15% to pure strike and blast defense when hybrid and soup and a Saiyan are battle members. Uh, <laughs> um, I think if they were going to do this, the first slot should have just been health instead of health restoration. If they were going to go the route of just full defense on this, they should have just given us health in slot one. I mean, this is a lot of defense. But it's very specific. You have to be a Super Saiyan movies character and have a hybrid Saiyan on your team. That's yeah, I mean it's not like impossible. Obviously, it's not it's not super difficult to do, but you're not really getting like a crazy effect out of this for what it's asking you to do. I don't know. Uh we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all right, and then obviously we have the blue cow can Goku equip. I might take a look at that last. Let me just go down and see if there's a new awakened equipment, which I believe there should be. Yeah, there is. Okay, it's the Omega one. Shadow Dragon. Okay, so Rage Shenron can use this. Uh, Zenkai Sin Shenron can use this. Whenever Ice and Nova get Zenkais, they'll be able to use this. Uh, Ultra Omega could use this. Special move damage, health restoration, 12% slot one. Oh, slot 3 is 12% health. I saw that's pretty good. And then slot 2 looks like it could be either strike or blast oriented. So 18% to base strike or blast attack. And then 6% to own 
Pure Strike or Blast per Shadow Dragon Battle member. Shadow Dragon Battle member. Yeah. <laughs> I... I don't know about this one. <laughs> Shadow Dragon. I mean, Omega obviously is really good. Rage is pretty solid. And I guess Ultra Omega, that's what you would run. I mean, that's what you have to run. It would just be both Omegas plus Rage. To be fair, I actually do really like the red Zankai Omega still. I think he's actually his green card is so broken. But you're not like seriously running a full Shadow Dragon team. Damn, I wish it was just GT. Because here's what they limited this to Shadow Dragons anyway for the for the equip condition. Th this should have just been GT. There's no reason why this, should, this, this needed to be Shadow Dragon here. Because they're already limiting it to Shadow Dragon characters anyway. I think the condition should for slot two should have just been per GT battle member. That would have made this so good. It is still really good, but I... Ah, damn. So close. All right, let's take a look at this blue cow can go quick this is technically this is the first platinum equipment for a summonable ultra character let's see what they're doing here this is obviously for summonable ultra super saiyan blue cow can goku all right slot one 20 percent health 50 percent to base offenses and defenses and then 50 percent to key recovery i actually recall him having Decent key recovery already. So that should be a lot of key. If I remember correctly. Uh, falling effects occur if own remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy's arts attack. Like, so this is a disrupt. This is a disrupt that activates mid combo, which is basically the same thing as like the fusing uh, character. Same thing as like evil boo. Heals by 40%. Wow. Okay. 40% is a lot. Nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 30 counts. That's offense as well. And then seals all enemies' main abilities for 10 counts, which. I guess it's just to prevent the opponent from just like drawing an ultimate and killing you, I guess. I don't know. Uh, type neutrality for 30 counts offensively and defensively from this is pretty good. And then that's a lot of healing, 40%. You're, you're basically healing in 90% health from that. Okay. Uh, okay, so slot three is where the... Jesus Christ, it's long. <laughs> All right. Uh, applies the falling effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special action. 30 counts. Activates twice. 30 counts of cover null twice. Wow. Um, <laughs> there is actually a downside to this, and the downside to this is that I can see this being wasted, right? Because you switch in with this guy, and a lot of times what you what you like to do with this character, at least when he first released, I mean, we'll see what it feels like using him now, but you would lead with this a lot of times you would lead with this character because he seals strike cards when he's faced with an enemy which is re still to this day is really toxic it's really cancerous it's like really 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 annoying um so i'm just thinking you enter the battlefield with this character are you really staying on the battlefield for 30 counts with this guy probably not Unless you get like really lucky with the gauge and stuff like that. Because what I'm envisioning here is most of the time you can't even take advantage of the 30 counts of cover null. And then what, what what's going to happen is you're going to switch out and switch back in. And it's you're basically going to override the first 30, 30, uh, 30 counts of cover null with the second 30 counts of cover null. It's just, it's just going to override the first one. And then that's it. This is obviously a really good effect, but it's just something to keep in mind. And don't forget, he also still gets cover null from his main ability. So, 50% uh, to unique gauge charge rate. That's just permanent?
Uh... Fifty percent to unique gauge charge rate. Yeah, that's just permanent. It looks like. <clears throat> it just says applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Fifty percent to unique gauge charge rate. It says activates once, but I assume what that means is that it just it doesn't stack on top of itself. Uh, we'll have to see if that actually is permanent, but to me, it looks like it is permanent here, so. All right, unlocks at seven stars. I really don't like that they do this, but we'll see what, what this is. 70% damage, okay, that's a lot. Actually, let me, um, let me actually pull up how much damage he has just base. Just because I don't remember off the top of my head. So he starts with 110%. Obviously, he is getting the Ultra ability. That's the 30%. It's 140. And then when he fills the unique age up, he's getting extra arts damage. So the next time he uses a card. Uh, that's, is that it? And then his green card is giving him damage buffs. Okay. So he doesn't have that much damage, actually. I mean, he, yeah, at this point, he is pretty old. 70% damage, applies the following effects itself upon landing a strike or a blast arts hit. Activates once. Randomly draws at most two new cards when you have three or fewer cards. Inflicts enemies with two sub counts. Huh. That is a strong combo. Cause you're locking in the opponent. You're locking in the opponent. And you're drawing cards. Like you could just chain together like three. This is like this is like LF Cooler, what he used to do, basically. Huh. Yeah, this is obviously a very strong equip here. Um, my main concern is going to just be his defenses. I don't think this is really going to help him defensively. The only defensive utility he's getting at all from this, besides the disrupt, which I don't, I don't even know. If this, is the disrupt really going to matter if he gets one shotted? Like he's getting fifty percent base defenses. Is that enough? The answer is no. What is his? I I closed out of it. I assume he doesn't have the greatest damage reduction to reduce damage received buffs so he's got 50 percent reduced damage received and then when I, when he fills the unique gauge up he reduces next damage to same by 20 percent yeah that is not not enough 50 percent we're at 70 percent at this point so i I'm, I'm gonna be very concerned about his defenses but he is yellow which is very good right now um, not very many crazy reds running around. I mean, the only one that really is like used right now is Fusion Zamasu. I'm actually pretty excited to test this guy out. He looks pretty damn good. This third slot, I mean, 30 counts of cover and all. You're getting permanent, what it seems to me is permanent, 50% unique gauge charge rate, 70% damage, and then you're drawing cards and locking the opponent in when you land a card. And that's repeatable when you switch in and out. All right, man, uh, this is a real equip right here. Uh, this is a character that was really good on release. Um, he unfortunately quickly fell off because the ant. <laughs> they decided to release like one of the biggest mistakes of all time in this game, which was the tag Android 17 and 18, like right after this guy came out. Um, but he seems, yeah, this is, this is a very, very strong equip. We'll see, we'll see. Again, I'm going to probably be doing a showcase on this guy and the free-to-play Goten tomorrow just because I am, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm getting over so, uh, something that starts with a C and ends with uh, an A. Uh, plus, just did like almost 24 hours of straight traveling. And I have another pre-recorded video dropping in a few hours. Let me know what you guys think of the free-to-play Goten and the Super Saiyan Blue Cow Ken Ultra Character Platinum Equipment. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.